Oh, DJ, put a nigga back to the record, baby, and give me this right now. everybody welcome back to let's play uh Yu-Gi-Oh! legacy of the duelist i was about to say mortal kombat i can't believe that <laughs> oh well today in the uh yu gi -Oh! 5d's campaign sayer plans to have a duel with leo and since and uh super sensory shakedown excuse me let's get into it soon after the fortune cup ended yusei found himself in another duel against a man claiming to be a dark signer after Yusei defeated his foe, he attempted to question him, but the individual had no memory of what just transpired. The man seemed to be under some type of mind control. However, this was the moment that Yusei met the journalist Carly Carmine. Hi, I, I'm Carly Carmine, and I was hoping you'd tell me what it's like to be the first amateur to take on Domino City's new champ. And what happened here with this freaky dude in the hood? Hey, do, do you hear sirens? Who called security? We better get out of here before they start asking questions. B but my interview! We'll finish it later. Later on, Yusei met up with Rex Goodwin to find answers about the Dark Signers. Yusei, the time has come for me to tell you the truth. Why don't we start with this mark? This is the mark of the Crimson Dragon. It belongs to those who protect our world from darkness. The darkness is dangerous. It can take on many forms, even those of your friends. You will know their identities, for they will have the Mark of the Shadows. The mark of the Shadows? You must mean the Dark Signers. Just as you were chosen to protect the light, they chose to protect the darkness. They will stop at nothing to annihilate you. To increase their strength, they absorb human souls, even those of the innocent. You and your friends must combine your strengths and defeat the Dark Signers. And if we can't, what if they release the Shadows? If that happens, well, you've already seen a glimpse of our fate. After talking with Goodwin, Yusei was dispatched to Satellite in order to seek out the Dark Signers. That's when he met an old friend. Hey, Yusei! Good to see you, Krell. What you been up to? You know me, still fighting the good fight, robbing the rich to feed the poor and all that. So I hear you're some big shot champion now. Yeah, something like that. Crow, why are the streets so deserted? Eh, these creepy cats have been coming around lately. They spot these wacky teachings to round up followers. I better look into this. Before too long, Crow and Yusei both came face to face with a dark signer. C Callan. You say! And his bird brain friend! C Callan Kessler? Is that you, really you? I thought you were gone forever! Wrong, you say! And while I was away, I made some new friends! I believe you already dueled one of my associates! You mean the Dark Signer? You're on their side? But you were once our friend! Once your friend, yes! But now, your enemy! Now get ready for the duel of your life! He's a dark signer. This is what Goodwin was talking about when he said the darkness may become in the form of a friend. During their duel, Kalin summoned the earthbound immortal Kokopakapu and the creature absorbed human souls throughout the arena. Kalin used this monster to defeat Yusei. Yusei's friends immediately rushed to Yusei's side. Meanwhile, Leo and Luna discussed their next move to help help stop the Dark Signers. Since we fight evil, that means we're superheroes. And superheroes are always supposed to stick together. That's like the most important thing. This kid's seen too many cartoons. I think their superpowers are more important. Anyway, you're absolutely right, Leo. Let's stick together right here in this cozy little mansion. What about Akiza? She may be a signer, but that doesn't mean we can trust her. She's part of that weird Arcadia movement that's got all the psychics. Their main objective is to train duelists to inflict real damage. But Akiza would never really want to hurt people. Who knows? I say we stay as far away as possible. But 
Yanagi agreed that us heroes gotta stick together. What if she needs our help? Or what if Yusei's in trouble and, need, and we need Akiza's deck as backup? Leo, stop reading cart. Stop watching too many cartoons. I'm gonna skip that. Meanwhile, Leo, Luna, Bolt, and Te uh, Tenzin, or Yanagi, travel to the Arcadia Movement to get help from Akiza. You want to see Akiza? She's awfully busy. What's so incredibly important that you had to come all the way here? Idiot! She has the mark of the dragon. I mean, she's a. Oh god! I'm skipping this. I am skipping this. I'm sorry. Leo ruins that for me, okay? If you want the whole story, play the game yourself. Ugh, Leo, shut up. Alright, Leo. Shouldn't be that hard to beat him. Leo is one of those duelists who, the minute he gets an edge, he likes to go all out. He doesn't really plan all his moves. Let's see, what cards do I have in my hand? I have Psy Curse. When the second monster you control is destroyed by battle, when the opponent's attacking monster, instead of the graveyard, target the opponent's monster. Destroy that target. If you oh! Okay. Eh. I think I know what I want to do. I'll play one card face down. And actually, I'll play two cards face down, with one being in defense mode. And I'll end my turn. Boom boxing. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and activate Psy Curse. Mm, no. I'm good. So what do you have planned there, Leo? Psychic Jumper, it's a level two. That's a level two, so I don't have anything that would be able to be synchro summoned with. Nope, I need a level 6 or higher. Actually, I think I know what I want to do. If I can hold out for one turn... Actually, no, I won't be able to get that. Well, at least I can do this. And I'll end my turn. Oh, crap. Yeah, too bad. I debate my second Psy Curse. Play that in defense mode and in my turn for now. I'll play that face down. Ah, okay. Um, play it in defense mode and uh, end my turn. No, he'll lose life points. I can deal with that. <laughs> When a psychic monster you control... Oh, okay, so I can just pay... Okay, I see what I can do now. Mm, 
let's go ahead and battle. What's that? Negate the attack and... Oh, okay, so it negates the attack. Alright. What's its defense ability? If this card will be destroyed... Okay, so if there's another Morphtronic monster on the field, uh, Slingen would basically uh, have that monster be destroyed rather than him. Alright, that makes sense. Yeah, not happening. Alright, let's summon reinforced human psychic board. Uh uh uh. And now I'll go ahead and have my second commander attack that monster. Uh yeah, let's go ahead and pay f I'm gonna go ahead and pay 500 life points. This could be your last turn there, Leo. And it is. I'm just gonna finish this. Sorry, Luna. It looks like the boy isn't special after all. At least they still have the girl. All right. Um, digging deeper. That's the next duel. Super sensory shakedown. Morphtronic power tool? Oh, okay. Uh, power tool dragon. I know the true secret of that dragon. <laughs> uh, Morphtron uh, Morphtronic remote then? Repair unit? Okay. Uh, before I actually go into uh, the shop, I'm going to go ahead and play, like, I'm going to go through the story again, but uh, you guys can go ahead and read it this time, so I'm going to spend at least three seconds on every one, so... Uh, if there's some things you want to want to read, you can just go ahead and pause the video every so often. Like I said, I I wanted to read this, but the thing was, the Leo is kind of immature, and I mean he's a kid, so what do you expect? But um, just go ahead and pause the video if you want to read like every so often, so you can. Uh, read this. And, uh, let's see. Just, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it, uh, go into this. There's actually story here. Um, if I'm right, these two will actually duel in the story, so, uh... Um, I'll explain it later. Ooh. Like I said, I understand Leo's a kid. Mm, he, that kind of superhero crap. I mean, this ain't this ain't um I guess you could say uh You know, like superheroes with special powers and all that. Uh, oh, the reason why Sayer was doing this, uh, I'm sorry I skipped this earlier, but like I said, Leo's too immature to continue it. Luna has a special ability that basically allows her to go to what's called the uh, dual monster spirit world. But the thing is. For some reason, when she does that, it affects um, it affects Leo in some way too. So, like he can basically know what's going on. It's just that it doesn't really affect him in the way it would affect her. But uh, Akiza, let's get some cards. Hmm. What's battle teleportation? 
If you uh, you can act, if you activate uh, activate if you control only one face up psychic monster, select that target. It can attack your opponent directly this turn. At the end phase of the battle, give control of that monster to your opponent. Oh. All right. Uh, Jack, your turn. Ooh. None of these cards are what I'm looking for, but... Eh. Now, you're probably wondering what card am I looking for from Jack. Uh, the card I'm looking for right now is... There's actually two cards I think I can get from him. One is Solar Flare Dragon, the other is Ultimate Baseball Kid. Uh, because they're actually very useful to my um, fire deck that I'm trying to build. Oh, never mind, I already have the... Uh, <laughs> I already have the um, Solar Flare Dragon. I need the Ultimate Baseball Kids. Um, probably gonna try and get another one of this if I can, but, um, uh, yeah. So, next time, uh, we'll go ahead in the duel, as, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, as Sayer has to deal with Carly and Digging Deeper. If you enjoyed the episode, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, turn the uh, notifications on by ringing that bell, share the video around us, it does help grow my channel, and I'll be greatly appreciative of it. If you guys need more gaming content, feel free to check out the video and the two playlists in the end screen. If you need more gaming content after that, feel free to check out my channel, where I upload gaming videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, this week, though, I will be putting out two extra videos, one of which uh, I'm sure you've probably seen by now is uh, Mortal Kombat Spawn, uh, Mortal Kombat 11's uh, Spawn Ladder, and I will be putting out one more video this week on top of what I'm doing in um, Street Fighter 5, as uh, I gotta do one of the two character stories I got since I uh, I have uh, Street Fighter 5's uh, Champion Edition update. I haven't been able to get around to that because I've been working, but uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, more to come. Till next time, everybody. See you later. Hey, guys. I'm glad you liked the show. Please come back next time for more. See ya.